In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Today I've been thinking about the words of the Queen of Sheba, which are reported in the reading from the first book of Kings, uh, which we hear at Mass. Uh, The fact that when she comes to see Solomon and his court in all their finery and all its splendor, she doesn't comment on uh, his wealth or his magnificence um, or his power, but rather she comments on his wisdom. That's all she's interested in seeing, the wisdom with which he governs his house, with which he creates a just society and a better world around him. The wisdom which is the quality of God who is trying to order uh, the world towards the beauty for which he created it, towards the goodness which is himself. And he wants to use us, his servants and his friends, to do that by imbibing from him that quality of wisdom. It makes me reflect then that I think we spend a lot of our time beating ourselves up that our lives are not perfect, which is silly, of course, because they never can be. But even in terms of our own behavior and achievements, we tend to say, I haven't achieved much. I haven't been successful in this or that. And we feel pleased with ourselves when we manage to complete this or that task, uh, whether it be large or small. It's all about what we can produce. But really, maybe we should change the way we examine our conscience in that sense, not look so much about how successful we are as human beings, but how loving we are. Do we have the wisdom to love as Christ would bid us love every single day? In the end, it is our faithfulness that matters, not our success. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may be brought by his passion and cross to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain with us always. And may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, be near at either hand. Christ, behind, before me stand. Christ, with me, where'er I go. Christ, around, above, below. Christ, be in my heart and mind. Christ, within my soul enshrined. Christ, control my wayward heart. Christ, abide and ne'er depart. Christ, my life and only way. 
Christ, my lantern, night and day, Christ, be my unchanging friend, guide and shepherd to the end. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. The war break out against me, even then would I trust. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savour the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. For there he keeps me safe in his tent in the day of evil. He hides me in the shelter of his tent. On a rock he sets me safe. And now my head shall be raised above my foes who surround me, and I shall offer within his tent a sacrifice of joy. I will sing and make music for the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Of you my heart is spoken. Seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my help. Though father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Instruct me, Lord, in your way. On an even path, lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from my enemy's greed. False witnesses rise against me, breathing your out fury. I shall see, I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him. Hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. He is the firstborn of all creation. He is supreme over all creatures. Let us give thanks to the Father, who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world of our end, amen. He is the firstborn of all creation. He is supreme over all creatures. You must do what the word tells you and not just listen to it and deceive yourselves. For the man who looks steadily at the perfect law of freedom and makes that his habit, not listening and then forgetting, but actively putting it into practice, will be happy in all that he does. Redeem me, Lord, and show me your mercy. Redeem me, Lord, and show me your mercy. Do not cast me away with sinners. Redeem me, Lord, and show me your mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
Redeem me, Lord, and show me your mercy. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. The world is ablaze with the glory of God, who cares for his chosen people with infinite love. In the name of the church we pray, Lord, show your love to all men. Be mindful of your church, keep her free from evil, and make her perfect in your love. Lord, show your love to all men. Let all peoples acknowledge that you alone are God and that Jesus Christ is your Son. Give them the light of faith. Lord, show your love to all men. Grant to those all around us all that they need so that they might know thankfulness and live in peace. Lord, show your love to all men. Keep us mindful of those whose work is hard and unrewarding. May we give everyone the respect which is their right. Lord, show your love to all men. Give peace to those who have died today. Grant them eternal rest. Lord, show your love to all men. Carol asks us to pray in thanksgiving this evening for a procedure that went smoothly. With Val, we pray for the well-being of Phil Bracia and her niece Fiona. Reginald asks us to pray for the gift of healing for Rosaline Brothers. And we pray for those who have died. Praying with Colette for the repose of the soul of her aunt Els, who passed away on Monday evening. We pray for those who have died within the last few weeks, especially for Father Stephen Ortiger and Marion Breslin. We pray too for Father James Maguire, priest of this diocese, whose anniversary occurs today. May he behold now with clarity what he ministered faithfully here below. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Lord, support us as we pray. Protect us day and night, so that we who under your guiding hand live in a world of change may always draw strength from you with whom there is no shadow of alteration. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Ave Regina Celorum, Ave Domina Angelorum, Salve Radix, Salve Porta, Ex quam mundo lux est torta, Gaude Virgo Gloriosa, Super Omnes Peciosa, Male o Valde Decora, E pro nobis Christum exora. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Pius X, pray for us. Saint Edward the Confessor, pray for us. <laughs>